Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to your 16th JavaScript and the DOM tutorial. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a search filter using JavaScript. All right then, so the app is starting to take shape. We've attached a few different events, such as the delete event. We can also hide and show the books. We can add new books as well. Now what I want to do is turn our attention to this thing right here to search for the books. So that when we type something in, for example, the wise man's fear, then it filters the books and only shows this one. So how are we going to do this? Well, we're going to do this by attaching an event listener to this input field right here. And this event is going to be the key up event. And a key up event is when we click a key and then we release it. That release is the key up event. So when that event occurs, what we need to do is find out the value of this input field. For example, when they click the A, it's going to be A. That's the first key up event. Then it could be N. That's the second key up event. So every time there's one of these events, we're listing out for that and reacting to it. And we're grabbing the value of the current uh, text inside this input field. Then what we want to do is take that text and we want to compare it to each one of these titles in turn. Now, if that text appears anywhere in one of these titles, for example, AN appears here and it also appears here then what we want to do is we want to keep those titles in the list. If it doesn't appear in one of these book titles, then we want to hide that title from the list. So we're filtering those out. Make sense? So let's get cracking with that. The first thing we need to do is grab a reference to the search bar. Now, if we inspect the element, we can see it's inside this ID right here, search books, this form, and it's an input field of text. So let's first of all grab a reference to the form and then find the input field within that. I'm going to create a constant first of all, and I'm going to call this search bar. And I'm going to set this equal to documents.forms. Remember, we can grab the forms in a document this way easily. Then in square brackets, we'll pass through the ID of the form we want, which is search hyphen books. Then within the scope of this form, I want to perform a query. So we'll say query selector. And this query is going to be for the input field. So this is going to grab us the reference to that input search box. The next thing we want to do is attach an event listener to this search bar. We want to attach the key up event. So we'll say search bar dot add event listener. And the event listener we want to add is the key up event. So we'll say key up and then we'll add a callback function and take in the event and then open the function. Now inside this function, what do we want to do? Well, the first thing we want to do is grab the search term. So whatever the user has input into this field. So let's create a constant first of all, and I'm going to call this term and I'll set it equal to E, which is the event object dot target. Now the target element in this case is the thing that's emitting the event and that's going to be the input field right here. So that's why we want to grab that because we want to grab the value of that input field. Make sense? So now we've grabbed the value. What I want to do is perform a method on it called to lower case. And that is going to turn the whole string to lowercase. So for example, if I type in capitals, then it's going to turn that into lowercase because I want to compare a lowercase string to a lowercase string. And we're going to convert these to lowercase later on because if we match up this to, um, let's just enter wise instead. If we match up this word wise to this, then they are not going to be the same thing because one's in capitals and one isn't. All right. So we want to make sure they're both the same case so that when we compare them, it's more accurate. OK, so we've now got the search term and converted it to lowercase. The next thing I want to do is grab all of the li tags because we need to cycle through each one of these li tags find the title of the book and compare it to the search term, which we've just got. So let's create a new constant. And this constant is going to be called books. And I'll set that equal to list. And we have that list up here. Remember document query selector book list UL. Then what we want to do is perform a search in here to get all of the li tags. So we'll say get elements by tag name. And the tag we want is li cool. All right, so we have all of those li tags. The next thing we need to do is cycle through those li tags and perform some kind of evaluation to figure out if the search term here is contained within the titles of each book. So 
the first thing we need to do is turn this into an array because this is a HTML collection and we can't perform the for each on that. So let's turn it into an array by saying array.from and we want to create an array from the books. So now we can attach the for each method onto it and inside we can pass a callback function which takes the individual book and each iteration round we want to check this book to see if the title of it is equal to what we've input into the field right here. So the first thing we need to do is grab the title of this book and the way we can do that is by saying const title and set it equal to the book itself then we want the first element child and the first element child of this li tag if we just inspect one is going to be this span right here with a class of name so that is the title so we're grabbing that element first of all then we want the text content which is this so we'll say dot text content and now we have the title of the book so we have the term here that the user is searching for and we have the title of the book now we want to check if this term is in the title of the book and to do that we're going to perform an if check and inside here I'll write this first then I'll explain it so first of all title to lower case because remember we don't want case to be an issue so we're converting both the term and the title to lower case so that that's not an issue when we come to compare them then what we're going to do is use a method called index of and pass in the term so this method right here gets the index of this term within this string and by the index I mean the position in the string for example if I type in H E then the position of this string in this title right here is right here so it return one okay if it's over here it might return nine or something like that now if this was a load of garbage this doesn't appear at all in the string so what then happens is this method right here returns a value of minus one so if that method returns a value of minus one we can be confident that this term is not inside the title therefore we want to hide that title we want to filter it out make sense so we can check if this does not equal to minus one therefore we can be sure that this term is in the string because it's not equal to minus one therefore what we want to do is make sure that the li is set to display as block so we can say book which is the individual li element that we're iterating on dot style dot display is equal to block okay cool so if this is not the case if this equals minus one then we can be pretty sure that this term is not in the string of the title therefore we want to do an else statement we can hide the book so we'll say book dot style dot display is equal to none all right so let's save this and check it out in a browser refresh and now if we type something in for example name then it filters out all of the rest of the elements you can see display none on each of these but display block on this one which has the name string inside it if I delete this then I can say something like the and all of them have the in it so they all remain but if I say the M then only this one remains okay so now we've created a filter which allows us to search for books and we've done that using the key up event and various other different techniques that we've learned throughout this series.